New at four, we're learning more about Tampa City Councilman John Dingfelder's resignation. Initially, it was reported that Dingfelder dis, uh, resigned as a result of a lawsuit over a public records request. Now, Eight on Your Side has learned there is also an investigation going on from the city's city attorney's office that Dingfelder was using his public office for personal gain. Jeff Patterson joins us live from Tampa City Hall with this new information. Jeff. Good evening, Jennifer. John Dingfelder has served the city of Tampa as a city councilman on two separate occasions. But a new investigation into text messages and emails is raising new concern about his latest time in office. Uh, yes, I've been sworn, but the... Steve McElhinney is a government relations consultant who often advises developers on zoning issues. McElhinney is a constant figure at Tampa City Council meetings. In August, Michelini put in a public records request into Councilman John Dingfelder's emails after Dingfelder expressed opposition to a development Michelini backed on Gandhi Boulevard. Steve Michelini's attorney tells me they just wanted public records on the issue. And so we just made a simple request asking for any public records related to that, and that's where it all started. Dingfelder spoke openly about the project to me. They're overbuilding down there. There's a huge evacuation problem already. And now we're adding thousands of apartment units. That's just wrong. It's dangerous. But Michelini's attorney tells me his client learned Dingfelder was using his wife's email account to send communication about the development. I've done public records requests for the vast majority of my career. I've never seen an elected official use a spouse's email account to communicate about public business. The Tampa City Attorney's Office also started investigating, and Eight on Your Side did a public records request about that. Records show the city attorney expressed concerns that Dingfelder used his position to influence city staff. Text messages showed Dingfelder asked city staff to take action on issues about stormwater and even tree removal that would help his clients. Dingfelder has now settled the lawsuit filed by Steve Michelini. But the settlement agreement prevents him from talking to the media about the issue, and it ended with the councilman's resignation. I spoke to the attorney for the First Amendment Foundation in Florida about these public record request issues. She says it's a growing problem for elected officials across the country, but she also says it doesn't matter what email account they're sent from. It matters to the content and the intent of the message that makes it a public record or not. And we'll have more on that coming up at 6 o'clock. Live in downtown Tampa, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.